woke up uh, a little bit ago. I'm super tired. It's Wednesday, by the way. Um, it's snowing outside. And I have no idea what I'm going to do today. I mean, I think I'm going to start by having breakfast. I was so tired, I had to take like a four hour nap, but now we have hooked up the cameras and the computers to the TV and we are reviewing the pictures and footage that we took yesterday. Those auroras look so great. dinner we were planning on going uh, to see the auroras again but as you can see behind me it's really coming down it's snowing a lot I don't know if with this much snow coming down we're gonna be able to actually see the aurora and the thing is today uh, the forecast for the, the power or the brightness of the auroras is the highest we've seen all week I hope uh, this snow stops really soon. We use this tool that predicts the auroras in like a 30 minute window and we are up here and around probably in like two hours this thing is gonna blow up. See all that green? All that green means good and if it starts to get red like here that means even better. So we're gonna have some nice auroras tonight. We got to the site where you can see the northern lights, but it's been snowing. There's a lot of cloud coverage and we can't really see anything, you know, past the clouds. Um, we're gonna stay here for a while and see if actually, I mean, the, cl the clouds go away and we can see something. But in the meantime, uh, somebody here made a fire and they're doing s'mores or something like that. It is 7.30 a.m. on Thursday. And I'm gonna go have a little breakfast. And then it seems like we're gonna go on a boat and see whales. I'm kind of excited for that. This is the boat that we're supposed to get on to see the whales. But we just called and the guy told us that he was not, you know, giving tours today. That we'll have to wait until Saturday. What the fuck is up with that? I want to see the whales today. Well, apparently, this is the very end of the whale season. <laughs> and apparently, there's no more trips to go whale watching. I'm so disappointed. I wanted to see the whales. So we made it to the boat. I don't even know where we're going. Well, going upstairs at least. Have the Germans and all of this is Trump's Bay. Simulate the icebergs. for a water break a 
also my hands were freezing operating this camera and this camera it ain't an easy task so I need my hands to be not frozen <laughs> Like, you like my hat, my, my furry hat? I love it, it keeps my head warm. Look at that. It's not every day I get to, you know, get this view. I, I love it, I love it. So, we're off the boat, it was a great trip. Now, remember uh, that I was telling you about having stinky clothes? Well, I need to go to the laundry and pick up my clothes. Yeah, I got my jeans and some shirts cleaned for me. I'm gonna go do that now. We got back to the site where usually we are able to see auroras. Um, it's what time is it? Is it it's 7 7 11 <laughs> and there's still no auroras out. The sky is clear. I can see the night sky, all the stars. It's it, it looks really nice, but we still don't have auroras. We have to wait like an hour or so to actually get them. If we get them, you'll probably see them like now. If not, maybe you'll see something else. days ago the, the first day that we came here there was a truck similarly stuck like this one and we were stuck for a couple hours but this one almost almost went off the rails wow this is crazy and I'm fucking freezing okay the driver of the truck was nice enough to drive our car out of the ice and into safety uh, there are a couple cars that are still waiting to get through and this one wants to go down all this here it's ice 
every car that goes around starts to skid here. It's a dangerous situation. But we're okay. For the moment. <laughs>